This slideshow shows a build of the PM Research steam engine number two. These are the parts that are supplied with the kit. I started with the flywheel because I've never machined cast aluminum, and this part should be pretty straightforward. On this slide, you can see the limits of milling travel using the tag lathe with milling attachment. Milling the frame required about a dozen individual setups that could have been accomplished using only three or four setups on even a small hobby mill. This is a makeshift fixture that I used for some of the milling operations. All the castings need the roughest parts filed down before they can be machined. Here I'm boring out the cylinder to half an inch bore. Two small gauge pins work fine if you don't have them large enough for the bore and it's easier than using a telescoping gauge. I couldn't turn down the crank enough to remove this rough part without reducing the stroke, so I filed it smooth afterwards. Once the cylinder head was faced off, I was too close to the chuck jaws to cut the shoulder, so I left it flat. You'll see the shoulder I cut on the bottom cap later. I machined a shallow round hole in this aluminum scrap and glued the cylinder head on to drill the holes for the head bolts. I did the same for the bottom cap. The spring is holding it in place until a glue hardens and a gauge pin keeps it aligned. I forgot to turn the shoulder on the bottom cap, so I set it back up in the four jaw chuck and I was able to realign it to within two or three ten thousandths of an inch, both concentrically and on its face. I used the lathe to square up this grooving tool that I needed to cut the piston ring grooves. I don't have a countersink end mill, so I used this small end mill as a boring bar to mill out the top of the piston. This is the piston assembly with the piston rings in place. I milled a flat on the crankshaft so the grub screw wouldn't slip. I built this kit using metric hardware because I have a better selection of metric tooling. The center of the gaskets were cut out by clamping them under the bottom cylinder cap. Sorry I didn't take photos of the small bits and pieces, but here's all the parts ready for final assembly. First run. Actually, this is the second run because when I hooked up the air hose, it had pressure in it and the thing gave a good spin. Let's have a look around here. 